To write the name for COCl2, we can see we have nonmetals here with the chlorine, and then cobalt, that's a transition metal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, that's an ionic compound. So we're going to use these rules here to name an ionic compound with a transition metal. So first, we're going to write the name of the metal, just as it appears on the periodic table. That's cobalt. Next, we write the name of the nonmetal. The nonmetal here is chlorine. We're going to call it chlorine. And then we're going to replace the ending with IDE. So the name right now we have is cobalt chloride. But we said that this cobalt's a transition metal. So we need to write the charge in the name. That's because transition metals, they can have different charges depending what they're bonded to. Here, the cobalt atom, it's bonded to two chlorine atoms. Chlorine on the periodic table has an ionic charge of one minus. So each one of these chlorines is one minus. Two times one minus, that's two minus. The cobalt has to be two plus for the total charge here to add up to zero, the net charge add up to zero. So because we have this two plus, we write that between the cobalt and the chloride. And we do that with a Roman numeral two with parentheses around it. So the name for COCl2 is cobalt two chloride. If you were given the name and you needed to write the formula for COCl2, you'd see the two here, you'd know that the cobalt had a two plus ionic charge and that you would need two of these chlorine atoms, each one's one minus, for the charge to add up to zero. This is Dr. B with the name and formula for cobalt two chloride, COCl2. Thanks for watching.